are doing great. I bet you've enjoyed the course so far. My name is Olali Konladi Miji, and I'd like to formally welcome you to Module 8, which is an introductory class to the use of Discovery Studio. Primarily, what we are going to discuss in this module is how to use the software to visualize 2D interaction as well as calculate basic chemical properties between protein ligand interaction. So yeah, Discovery Studio software can be used for several calculations in computer-aided drug design. Additionally, this software suit can be used for analyzing and modeling molecular structures, sequence, and other data which are of utmost relevance to life science researchers. Also, this software provides functionality to enable us view and edit data as well as perform basic data analysis. While I am sure you must have downloaded and installed the software, you could either follow up on related steps during the course of um, the module or you can go through the video again as many times as possible until you have a full grasp. However, I would like to take us through some of the icons we have on Discovery Studio and give a brief on their function. So when you open the software, this is the home screen and here are the icons um, you get to see and I'll briefly take us through the primary functions of this tab. First is the menu bar which grants users access to commonly used tools such as file access, editing and viewing commands. Next is the tool set bar which is used to display different groups of related analysis tools in the tools explorer. Thirdly is the toolbar which grants access to commonly used tools for viewing and editing data. Then we have the feature search box which is used to search and open functionality. Also, we have the um, Tools Explorer, um, which um, basically provides us with, um, which enables us to locate and open data files. Additionally, we have the Windows tab, which allows you to work with a data in a variety of windows without this data is interfering. And lastly, we have the status bar, which gives info on current activities being run on the software. So, briefly on some of the functions of the tool set bar. So, and first, the macromolecule tab, which can be used to build and edit nucleic acid. Uh, as well as proteins, you can superimpose two proteins, analyze the sequence, and generate reports of the protein using this tab. Here's the simulation tab, which can be used to run simulations like molecular dynamics and calculate DMP energy using um, quantum mechanical calculations. Here's the receptor ligand interaction tab, which can be used for Molecular docking, you can use this tab to visualize the interactions, you can display receptor surface, as well as visualize um, 2D interactions and analyze ligand process. Additionally, um, you can dock using this tab, and this will be the tab we will bother on for the sake of this um, module. Tamako 4 is very important. You can use um, this particular tab to build database of available drug or lead compounds manually automatically. We have a small molecule tab, which is also a very important tab. You can draw ligand structure, minimize ligands, align to more molecules, and I mean, we can calculate molecular properties and um, also create a um, QSR model using this um, particular tab. So X-ray tab can um, be used to build and validate protein structures, as um, we can rightly see here. So right about now, I will teach us how to upload your already docked files from um, Pyrex, which must have obviously been saved in PDB format, and how to visualize the 2D interactions as well as calculate basic properties of this interaction. So this will be a continuation of the previous module from um, how to use um, Pyrex for molecular docking. So having saved your file in PDB format, in order to upload this file, you will click on the file tab on the menu bar 
this will enable you search and locate um, the complex in whichever folder you must have um, saved it so i already saved my as a um, complex one so i will right click and then click on open once this is done you will see your protein and ligand complex displayed on your on your screen so the protein is being displayed in um uh, it's being displayed as ribbon following the backbone of the protein um, the ribbon here is more fat and colored in light blue indicative of bios and then the red for um, helices the ligand appears uh, to be stick like the ligand appears to be stick like so you can turn it around also by right clicking and then you use your mouse to turn it round and round so i haven't done that we are set to view the 2d interaction and we'll do so by clicking on the receptor ligand interaction button just here so once you click it you get to see uh, so you see view interaction button being um, displayed as well as define and um and edit binding site so what is next is um you will click on view interaction tab and then you will locate the ligand interaction button just here so once you click it you get to see um dotted lines which are indicative of um uh, of the interactions that exist between your complex so to view the 2d interaction you can do that um, using this um, tab indicative of 2d diagram you click on it and then it displays 2d interaction in a separate window so as you can see it shows the bonds that exist from um, this complex we can see um, more of a um, hydrogen bond which is actually very important and crucial in drug design mainly because they help in the specificity of protein ligand interaction by stabilizing the ligand in the binding pocket. In some instances you could notice um, some unfavorable bonds which will be displayed in red. Um, it should be split in red in something like this. However, this is indicative of a force of repulsion between the complex and a reduced stability um, in this reaction. So, this might potentially ensue into adverse reactions. For the